death is a technical problem and every technical problem has a solution so let's solve it most people die prematurely because of some kind of disease like cardiovascular disease cancer lung disease alzheimer and so on we have made progress in curing many diseases and result of that is our life expectancy has doubled in last 10 decades now can we touch life expectancy of 100 or 110 or maybe even 150 and eventually be mortals okay let's now focus on getting it to 100 so the answer is probably yes with new technological innovations in healthcare it's possible and today we are going to look at role of artificial intelligence in healthcare before that if you are a doctor or healthcare organization then you should be aware about recent technological development in healthcare sector it's really hard to know everything going on in market without investing hours going through articles and videos when one of my industry friend asked me to make a report about that i listed down all the important and ambitious projects plus 50 ai healthcare startups that has potential to change our industry if you want to read it mail me at 7167 and i will be happy to email it to you medical breakthroughs in last 100 years have improved our life for far better than we had imagined now let's review the current system and see where we can improve and how ai can help so this is current system you get ill or you see some symptoms then you go to hospital doctor diagnoses you with clinical or laboratory diagnosis systems and recommends you some treatment as in a form of medicine or surgery that's current system let's see how can we improve step by step let's start with getting ill one interesting thing about getting ill is your body gives signal way before you get ill even when you feel fine sensors can easily detect if your body temperature is rising or your heart is beating faster or your respiratory rate is higher than normal by feeding this data to deep learning algorithm it can easily find change in your body and compare that to previously trained data of other patients and will give you prediction for your health just like weather forecast in near future we will be able to see our health forecast for that we need to integrate data from health variables to deep learning models This deep learning models can find correlation between two events that do lead to fever or sickness which events we usually ignore. And that brings us to diagnosis part because all the sickness is not viral flu or cold. Sometimes it can be signal for serious upcoming disease. So we should pay attention to those signals. Diagnosis identifying the nature of an illness by examination of symptoms in simple words clinical diagnosis is made on the basis of medical science and patient reported symptoms but the problem is patient reported symptoms are not accurate all the times 10 different patients will describe same condition in 10 different ways that's very difficult situation for doctor to accurately diagnose and rare the disease longer it takes for doctor to diagnose let's take example of one of the deadliest disease 33% of people die from cardiovascular disease heart attack plus stroke heart attacks don't strike randomly major danger zones are unhealthy diet lack of movement being overweight and smoking so the more information we have about patient better we can predict even small clinical test like high resolution eye scan or blood test even data from health trackers can easily detect whether you are developing some kind of cvd or not we spend so much money on treatment even if that means just some weeks or months of probable treatment better decision would be to spend that money on early diagnosis and preventive care In conclusion, accuracy and time matters. So how can AI help? Technically speaking, diagnosis is multi-class classification problem. And with multi-dimensional data of patients, deep learning algorithm can work effectively to predict and classify disease. 
So we need to build infrastructure where we can collect data from patient and let the black box do its magic in finding patterns. By this approach, diagnosis will be more accurate and instant. There will be enough time to treat the root cause, not just symptoms. Currently, most effective application of AI in diagnosis is reading medical images. AI has already outperformed expert level radiologists in couple of competitions because AI has advantage of learning from limitless data and processing it rapidly. But this doesn't have to be competition. This can be very useful collaboration by integrating AI into hospital softwares where radiologists can directly take help so they can access the small details that human eye often miss. And this will be very helpful for 3 billion people who do not have access to basic healthcare. Well then you may ask, if it's already better than human radiologist, why it's not available in market? The answer is some of these models are getting validated on more people to ensure the accuracy and its ability to generalize. Well, then will it replace radiologist? Well, at least for near future, radiologists who use AI will replace the radiologists who don't. There are thousands of diseases which have no treatment because the drug discovery process is lengthy and expensive. The reason is human biology is very complex. There are 40 trillion cells and 1 trillion molecules in each cell. So the production of one drug cost around 1.3 to 1.6 billion dollars of investment. Thousands of people for validation through clinical trials and at least 12 to 15 years of time and that's lots of resources actually same as research of this video costed me beautiful garba nights and hundreds of cups of tea in couple of months but this long drug discovery process is worth it because the process ensures the safety and effectiveness of drug but we can speed up this process using AI so how AI can exactly help there is large room for improvement in this unproductive process. First of all, generative adversarial networks can help to generate new molecules. Deep learning algorithms can be used in identifying the targets. On top of that, we can leverage reinforcement learning in validation of these findings. After generating the drug, AI can help in matching the right patient to right drug for clinical trials. But, here is a big but, the whole premise of AI depends on high quality good data set for AI to learn. The interactions of molecules with target is very difficult to capture and simulate. So we have to find ways to create large scale data set of microbiological interactions. There is currently enough data available in hospitals that can be used to improve early diagnosis systems for many deadly diseases. But hospitals cannot give direct access of this data to startups because of legal issues, privacy issues and mainly because there is no direct benefit to that hospital. But if your hospital wants to find insights in your patient's data and give them early diagnosis services which will separate you from your competition, then we have got your back. Mail me at 7 with your details and I will be there with my team to help you. With this technological innovations, life expectancy of 100 is not far away. And as they say, this is the best time to be alive. And it's so good that we should just stay alive forever. Well, I will leave you with that thought. See you next time.